Every generation will not be confused. There is a generation that will get this thing. Say the compressed prophet Apule Kapas. From that day, the creative dimension of the prophetic. There must be a performance because. this sermon and um, I wrote down a few things here just to put our minds in the same page write the word stagnation the word stagnation has many meanings but I coined out a few that I thought would give us um, light and understanding even as we proceed I wrote down here that stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement please write stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement or progress stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement or progress stagnation also means a state of inactivity a state of inactivity having life but without motion very terrible description having life but without motion so one more time stagnation is a condition that is marked by lack of movement or progress a state of inactivity having life but with no motion hallelujah this arguably is about the number one reason why people do not make progress in life people are in that state of inactivity and there are many factors number one is ignorance ignorance is biblically the first reason why people do not move because knowledge is represented in light and you are only able to move to the degree to which you see so ignorance number two we have demonic activities hallelujah Paul said, I desire to come to you, even I, Paul, once and again. He said, but Satan hindered us. So we know that demon spirits can hinder the advancement and the progress of people. But the third reason, which is my concern for tonight, is the absence of divine direction, the leadings of God. The inability to access the leadings of God is arguably about the greatest in my opinion the greatest explanation for the helpless stagnation of many no matter what kind of vision you have no matter what kind of great destiny you have before you the inability to access and to understand the leadings of god per time per season per moment may keep you stagnated for a very very long time and may tonight be a service of deliverance for someone in the name of jesus christ i'm praying for you that through my speakings god is going to be speaking expressly to you maybe to a man of god maybe to a couple maybe to a family maybe to someone you just came at this point in your life you don't even know if to go left or to go right or to remain there you're not even sure of what to do may you find direction tonight in the name of Jesus Christ so I want you to pay attention write this down please to fulfill your assignment and your divine destiny to fulfill your assignment and your divine destiny you need to be guided and led by God to fulfill your divine assignment or your assignment and your divine destiny you need to be guided and led by god it is impossible ladies and gentlemen to actualize destiny to god's standard and god's specification outside of access to his guidance and his leading those we call great in the kingdom today are not great based on anything necessarily that they have within themselves they may be very weak people 
who have mastered the art of accessing the leadings of God and they triumph from one level of results even to the other. Why do we need the leadings of God even at such a time as this? Confusion is part of the limitations in all men. Confusion, write that word down please. Confusion is part of the limitations in all men provided you are a man carrying flesh and blood and bones confusion is part of the limitations of all men it's not an insult it's an attempt to describe a state of man outside of the assistance of god i said to fulfill your divine destiny and your assignment you will need to access the guidance and the leadings of God. And then that confusion is part of the limitations in all men. Hallelujah. Are we together now? Very, very important. You see, in life, please look up. Let me have your attention. I wrote down here that our decisions in life are usually based on the information we have and our current levels of exposure. This is a fact with all men. Decisions decide destiny, like Dr. Mudok will say. However, your decisions are predicated upon the level of knowledge, the orientation you have at any given time. As powerful as that is, it is a risk because your growth is transitory. That means you can make a decision today using the level of orientation and knowledge you have today and only find out after 15 years that you did not make a superior decision. It means then you have to outsource a dimension of intelligence that is higher than your level of exposure or your orientation. Are we together now? It's amazing how that as you grow in leadership, as you grow in age, as you grow in life, as you grow, you know, in, in several kinds of responsibilities, your priorities change. Is that true? Your orientation changes and so on and so forth. I remember years ago, as children, there used to be this, this hairstyle called punk. My people remember? And if the barber makes a mistake, and ruins your one week by getting the measurement wrong and the styling wrong you can your one week can be ruined and frustrated because someone was not sensitive to the times but it is amazing right now that as i sit down for them to bar me usually i'm sleeping it takes a lot of patience from the barber because any opportunity to not do anything for five ten minutes is converted to sleep just bab whatever you need to bab and allow me prepare I'm just saying that our priorities change as we rise, as we grow in leadership. Are we together now? You can see a woman of 60 years old walking and her shoe cuts and she carries the one that is not working well and keeps walking. No embarrassment whatsoever. No explanation whatsoever. She will walk home with joy and confidence and say, Listen, look at what happened. I started trekking from here to this place but let that happen to a young lady of 21 22 23 and that is an attack she may even go for deliverance and say no it has to be the devil for this level of embarrassment if you look back at your decisions now 10 15 years ago i am sure from the lens of your growth your maturity your increase in knowledge there are many things you probably would not have approached the way you did is that true that means that depending on the scope of your understanding now to make all of your decisions is a risk because growth is progressive it means in the next five to ten years the world is going to change and you do not know how far it will change your knowledge is going to grow and increase and you do not know how far what what level of ignorance you have now you only test how bad your ignorance is in the presence of superior knowledge are we learning already
Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.